Oh, <laughs> I can't even believe this is real. So, oh my gosh. A lot of people have been asking and wondering, with the notch in the way now, what happens if your app menus go too far to the right or your status menus go too far to the left? Did they, like, when Apple unveiled the new MacBook Pro models with a notch to house the camera and the thinner display bezel, many observers pointed out potential problems for third-party apps that place additional content across the menu bar in the form of drop-down menus that extend from the left or menu items that extend from the right. The concern was that extended menus or menu items in the menu bar would be inadvertently hidden behind the notch. Based on new video evidence, that at least appears to be the case for non-updated apps that make extensive use of menu items but not the case for apps that have extended drop-down menus. Snazzy Labs YouTuber Quinn Nelson shared two videos on Twitter bemoaning the impact that the notch has on versions of two third-party apps that have not been updated to make way for the notch. In the first video, menu bar items for popular app listed menus are shown as being partially concealed behind the notch, but still accessible using the mouse pointer. By contrast, in the second video, when Nelson launches an old version of DaVinci Resolve, he discovers that the video editing app's extended drop-down menus avoid the area of the menu bar concealed by the notch, and that the mouse pointer is blocked from entering the concealed space. The latter behavior is an intentional move by Apple. By disabling the active space under the notch area and blocking off the mouse pointer, this ensures that older versions of apps can't display menus in that space. At a system level, on the other hand, the mouse pointer can enter the notch area where it can be hidden. This behavior also applies in full-screen mode. In the second video, Nelson goes on to complain that the notch is causing DaVinci Resolve's extended menus to take over the menu items of listed menus on the right-hand side of the menu bar. This is actually normal behavior in macOS running on any Mac, but the notch does reduce the amount of menu bar space available for both sets of content. Monterey ensures that app menus are shown on either side of the notch by using a new compatibility mode that disables the active display area taken up by the camera housing. For what it's worth, Django, the developer of Istit Menus, doesn't believe that adding compatibility mode support to their app would change the behavior of the app status items when other apps are in the foreground and isn't likely to solve the issue presented in the video. If I open DaVinci Resolve, there are a ton of menu bar app items, okay? And clearly, there's maybe stuff behind the notch, but if I go up there, no. If I click in the middle of the notch, it just opens the playback menu. Now look, if I go to the playback menu, it just jumps from the left side to the right side instantly. This behavior does not work on the OS where you can just move your mouse behind your willy nilly. But if I go back to DaVinci Resolve, I can actually, I can't go into the notch. Like, look at this. It rides along the perimeter of the actual notch. That's weird. Okay, but look what happens. If I click away and I click back to Resolve, it just gets up all of your status items are gone. <laughs> If the app you're using has a lot of app items, it's like, see a status bar? What the freak? That's so weird. I mean, at least there's not stuff behind the notch. Clearly, they need to fix stuff, like with iStat menus. And this is not iStat's fault. Or if it is, it shouldn't be. This is, should be controlled by the system. That crap just gets like, okay, hold on. Well, okay, so if we want to play iStat, let's drag something like the, you know, the battery icon. Does that hide under the notch? No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It does. <laughs> so it's not ice stats, but what the? Who designed this?